Yes, hello once again. Welcome to the African Sports Network. I'm here live at Yankee Stadium where we're covering the World Series uh, between the Phillies and the Yankees. Standing right next to me is the VP for Operation for Major League Baseball, Mr. Lee Solomon. Welcome to our network, sir. Please talk to our folks in Africa a little bit. Give them some perspective into the World Baseball Series because they hear the World Baseball Series, they don't realize that, you know, they think that it's just America. They don't realize that it's a global event. Absolutely, it's a global event from a television standpoint. From a marketing standpoint, a business standpoint, uh, also many of our players are not from the United States. Uh, we have uh, around 25% of our players are from Latin America. We have uh, many Asian players uh, on our club, uh, Korean, Japan, Japanese. Uh, we also have Australian players. We have Canadian players. So it's a world event for us. We'd love to have some African players out here too. Uh, I think that the World Series is becoming just that, a true World Series with all of the world being involved, all the world being interested, and uh, we're marketing to all the world. I mean, it, it's quite wonderful to realize that, like Mr. Lee just mentioned, uh, we're having players from all over the place, mostly Latin America, I imagine, and we have Hideki Masui from Japan, and I know that the Japanese media is pulling up. For those people who are watching in Africa, you know, what are the perspectives, what are the measures that Major League Baseball have taken to make sure that uh, some of the people in Africa that are following baseball will also be included in this very big event. Well, you know that we've done a lot in South Africa. That's pretty well documented. We've had uh, smaller efforts that have gone on in Ghana. Uh, we've done uh, things in Nigeria. We've done things in Uganda. We are trying to bring baseball uh, to Africa. Uh, we have not done as, as much as I think we should. We will keep doing that, and uh, we'd like to uh, make sure that uh, that the country uh, and the continent of Africa, and all the countries in Africa, are interested in our game, and we're trying to grow our sport in every continent, including Africa. Please, can you tell our audience what are the resources that MLB have, and how could they get access to those resources to? get those programs going in your home country? Well, we have we have an international aspect in our business. And uh, anybody that wants to contact us about our Envoy program, uh, where we bring coaches into various uh, countries and provide baseball clinics, uh, we do send equipment, we send coaches, we send personnel in, and we've had good world trips, as you know, to various countries uh, to spread the word of baseball. We are, are here and available, like I said, to any country or any entity that wants us. Of course, Usually the baseball federations in those countries are the entities that contact us and, and basically get involved with us. But uh, if, a, if an entity has a large enough organization that wants to be involved in baseball, they should reach out to MLB. We'll do our best to see if we can work something out. I thank you so much for your time. I know this is a very busy day for you. Would you like want to look at the camera and say hello to all of those that are watching Africa and tell them that very soon MLB you know, is going to continue to support baseball in Africa as you've been doing? I really appreciate the opportunity to speak with you all on television. I hope to get the opportunity to meet each and every one of you. Major League Baseball, Commissioner Selig, and all of our entity want very much to play baseball, play baseball in the country of Africa, as well as the continent of Africa, excuse me, as well as have many of the African young players who are out there today play Major League Baseball.